what's going on guys it's Elias welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in I appreciate it guys so I wanted to get on here real quick as you can see I'm in my s2000 um, I'm on my way to a doctor because uh, as you may or may not know and I did want to update you guys um, yes I did have an incident with the Honda Civic Type R so I won't go into details right now there's uh, a lot of questions and things people want to know right away and honestly, I'm still going through all the footage and trying to recover some of that footage that I have lost uh, because of the crash. It was, it was an incident in the crash at uh, some point raceway. Um, I first have to apologize. It may be a little bit loud in here. Uh, I am in my soft top S2000. It's not exactly known for being the quietest car. So uh, just bear with me here as, a, as I, I want to update you guys on what's happening. So uh, I am recovering nicely, quite nicely actually. Uh, it's been uh, about a week since the incident and the accident and uh, I have cracked ribs not broken just fractured thank God and I had a mild concussion a little bit of a left ankle issue uh, because I hit the wall mainly with the wheel so uh, the wheel pushed uh, the impact into the, the driver's foot well and so well you know my, my foot got a little bit affected not too bad actually Normally also I'd have my top down, but because I'm talking to you guys, I put it up to try to, you know, have a conversation and update you guys on what's happening. So, yes, videos will be coming out very soon. Uh, I am going through the footage. I'm trying to recover some of the, some of the footage that I lost. Honestly, though, some of the main footage that I have is actually, unfortunately, crashed in the crash. So I'm going through the process of recovering a lot of that. Uh, once I get that, I will release basically a 10 part series from the start so it'll be uh, you know me preparing the car for racing and then I go to Pocono track night to test out the car I go and test out the type R make sure it's all working well make sure it's all good but uh, you know I have a ton of fun I meet actually a, a, a different type R owner pretty awesome as well and then I, I go ahead and install a few different things which I'll cover in those videos and I test them out and then I also uh, install a tow hook, a bunch of different things in preparation for Grid Life Track Battle 2 at Summit Point. Now at Track Battle, I was doing pretty well. I was second place at one point. Uh, unfortunately, that my second place did not stick. It's okay. Um, and uh, I actually finished fourth in street, second place in street front wheel drive. So I almost beat Les in his Integra Type R. Uh, he's a very good driver. He's got some nice tires. He's got 10 years racing. So I don't feel too bad that he beat me by 0 0.04 of a second. Very, very close. 0 0.04 is almost nothing. And it is a very challenging track. A lot of walls, a lot of places to have bad accidents. And that's unfortunately what happened. So, um, yes, uh, I'm going to be a little bit slow the next couple of days to weeks. You know, I, I really can't do that much because, my, you know, when your rib cage gets uh, affected it's hard to breathe so you may it may sound like I'm having trouble speaking to you guys I hope I can speak okay but uh, it's hard to project my voice out to you guys so you can hear me um, but I do want to communicate with you guys because I have been overwhelmed with support uh, from you guys I really appreciate everything that you guys have said and done for me and my channel without you guys I wouldn't even try racing honestly you know after this accident I don't know what I was going to do. I don't know if I was going to hang up my boots and kind of give up. But, you know, all the support that you guys have given me through uh, Instagram, through YouTube comments, messaging me on Facebook, I, just, I truly appreciate each and every one of you that has taken the time to reach out. I know I'm in a lot of people's thoughts and prayers. I really do appreciate that, you guys. Uh, so, I, you know, I feel like I owed you guys um, a little update uh, because I really I haven't uploaded anything in a week. And I, I'm used to uploading uploading at least two to three videos per week and I wanted to do four or five videos per week going forward but I really because of the mild concussion I've had a hard time concentrating on screens so the time I have been spending has been at work so I've been working obviously I have a day job uh, that I have to stare at the spreadsheet and things like that uh, I haven't had the energy or time really to stare at my my editing software to do the work that I need to do so uh, just be on the lookout for some future videos. You know, I guess if this video gets a little bit too dark, you may see some overlay 
of those uh, future videos. Uh, really cool, awesome Type R footage. The Type R does really well. Everything I put on the Type R did really well. It was a combination of a lot of different things that led to me crashing into a wall. So, you know, just keep your speculation to a minimum. I really am analyzing what happened so that I can make sure it doesn't happen again uh, as best that I can. And I'm re really, honestly, I'm trying to see if I can save the Type R. So uh, we'll get to all that. It'll be a nice 10 part video, uh, video series. I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, it's, I'm gonna spend a lot of time editing it this weekend. I'm basically just gonna rest and edit and then rest and then edit, nothing really else. Again, the reason I'm on the road today right now is because I'm on my way to a doctor. Uh, I have to get things checked out, CAT scans, x-rays, uh, all kinds of, I think I'm getting an MRI at some point, all kinds of things to make sure everything is good to go. I don't wanna lose my head as it's the most important thing. And uh, hitting a wall at around 70 miles an hour-ish is not the best way to keep your head. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's really all I wanted to update you guys on. Uh, the audio is probably not that good because we're in a very loud S1000. The video is not that good because it's kind of dark already. But I really did want to get on here, talk to you guys, really send you my appreciation. And I'm gonna let you guys, I may get knocked down, but I never, ever stay down. I will always get back up. I will always keep trying, I'm always gonna keep fighting, and we're not done yet. I don't know what I'm, the next steps are, but whatever they are, they're going to be awesome, they're gonna be cool. Uh, one of two choices for the Type R, either I rebuild, uh, and when I rebuild, I mean I'm gonna strip the inside, put a roll cage in it, put a full racing bucket, and make it a strictly a race car only, or I take the engine drivetrain out if the chassis is not, not salvageable, and put it in a hatchback, or maybe a coupe, or who knows. But whatever I do, we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna videotape it all. We're gonna put it on YouTube. I'm gonna continue to enjoy motorsport, which is what I love doing. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. I'm having a hard time talking, so I'm gonna cut it here. Uh, please, if you have any support or anything, please uh, send me your comments. I love to read your comments, especially nowadays. I really feel the love and support from all of you guys. I know there's a couple of haters. I love you guys too. It's all good with that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.